Hello, welcome back. I'm Stone LeBrandy, the lead designer of SimCity, and I've invited a special guest to the studio today, Will Wright, the original creator of SimCity. Hi. Thanks for coming out here. Oh, my pleasure. All right. So Will's been playing the game a lot recently, and we invited him out to the studio to try it out and see what he thought of it. And my first question is, like, what did you think of the whole experience overall? Well, this is probably the first time I've enjoyed SimCity in many years. <laughs> first of all, <laughs> you know, uh, the fact that I've been kind of removed from the development and just kind of playing it as a player. Uh, it's been actually a pretty amazing experience and had a lot of fun. You know, right off the bat, I love the road tool. Uh, the way you can kind of do curves and splines and get this oh, yes. organic feeling. We spent a lot uh, of time on those. Yeah, I, I blew all my budget in the first couple cities just playing with the road tool, building <laughs> way too many roads. Uh, later realized that I could build cheaper roads and upgrade them, which actually ended up being a really good trick to learn. And I love the uh, kind of immersive zoom in thing, you know, that I could go down the street level and really feel like mm -hmm. I was, you know, walking around the city. And the visuals and the sound were just, you know, the sound in particular was great. Then just kind of got into the, you know, gestalt of building a city. And uh, my initial thought was that it felt a little claustrophobic, just the size mm -hmm. of the landscape. But then as I started playing more, I started realizing how much intricacy was in that area. And even if my city had been larger, you know, I'd still be dealing with the same issues. So it allowed me to kind of get into the simulation sooner. Uh, it was more about the quality of what I was building, less about the quantity. Um, which I kind of liked because then I could actually really focus in on something that felt manageable but still have the depth of simulation. Were you more trying to like make a statement, make something beautiful, or were you trying to win the game? You, did you have goals for yourself? I'd say I'm somewhere between the two, but uh, I definitely, aesthetics was a big part of it. You know, I wanted these organic looking cities that at the end of the day I could kind of, you know, upgrade and make look beautiful with parks and yeah, all that kind of Yeah, curves help a lot with that. Yeah. Then I started realizing that I had to watch my budget, and uh, I was blowing all my money buying all these fancy toys for my city. And so then I started a couple more cities, you know, with a little bit more fiscal discipline. As I started kind of um, delving into what was going on through the different networks and, the, you know, the data layers, the pollution, the land value, you know, all that kind of stuff, uh, I was actually very impressed with the way it was presented because there was obviously a lot of stuff going on underneath the hood of the simulation. But yet it was presented all very, very graphically, you know, almost never looked at a number except for maybe my budget or my population. Those are the only two numbers I really even had to look at. Yeah, also like when you turn on, say, the crime layer and then you see these big orange areas and these big blue safe right. areas, and you're like, oh, I want to live over here. And then you look at education, it's like, oh, this is a great school, no crime. This is a much better spot to live than over here in this part right. of the town. And also I would think of the neighborhoods almost as like little test tubes, you know, where I'd go in and I would try a lot of things in a neighborhood, see if I could improve that neighborhood. If that worked, then I would replicate that other places, you know. Which in a lot of ways is the way a lot of uh, actual cities approach city planning, is they will actually try little initiatives, you know, at kind of the district level. You know, see if it works. If it works, they roll it out to the rest of the city. It was actually interesting to me when I was playing these cities that were uh, economically challenged. And, you know, I was having to cut back on city services and, you know, it was really uh, kind of an interesting decision from the player's point of view in terms of, again, do I cut back, you know, police or fire services? Um, and I really need to get the city producing money. And so kind of being in these uh, kind of behind the curve situations where I'm now looking at the residents and wondering, okay, how is this going to impact their lives, you know? Speaking of that, I'm wondering, did you feel like you got an emotional attachment to the Sims themselves in the game? Like, did you actually feel that the people were the heart of the game, or were you more focused on the buildings? I actually had more of an emotional attachment to the neighborhoods. Uh, you know, and when I go down the street view and I would kind of listen to the sounds and see the people walk around, see what kind of houses they were living in, what kind of jobs were there. Uh, you know, I really got a sense for certain neighborhoods, and I found myself becoming emotionally invested in particular neighborhoods. Like, oh, this one's so, you know, close, and it's, it's such a great location, and just a little bit more of this, that, and the other. And I would go in and I would kind of overspend on parks and things in that area, maybe at the expense of some other neighborhood that I didn't really care about. But in my mind, I was almost kind of like, that's where I lived. This is my neighborhood. You know, I almost had this fiction that I was a sim in this city, and these were the neighborhoods that were not my neighborhoods. And I thought that the street level view did a kind of an excellent job of giving you that, uh, kind of sense of, uh, you know, of being there. Did you try new ideas and new types of experiments, new types of cities? Well, I would kind of approach, I think, every city I made um, in a slightly different way, you know, kind of as a meta strategy. You know, what if I try to do something where the transportation is my highest priority? Or I try to really, you know, work on, you know, budgeting and making sure I always maintain a positive cash flow. Within the city, I would actually try much more kind of tactical strategies. But it felt like I was playing these, like, kind of nested mini games inside the larger game of SimCity. And uh, every now and then I'd look at my budget and figure out which one of these mini games do I need to focus on now. I'm spending too much on transit, so now how do I go and optimize that? Or how do I get the most effective fire services 
you know, for the least amount of money. What about your like uh, garbage services, uh, sewage services? So for some of the services like the garbage, uh, some of the industrial stuff, um, I would usually kind of put off in a corner somewhere. But at some point it would kind of grow, start polluting the water table, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. I started realizing I could outsource some of that stuff to the neighbors and started doing that. So you mentioned you played a couple different cities out in the region. What were the kind of specialties that you tried to highlight in the different cities that you played in to make them different from each other? Well, the first one I played with was gambling uh, in terms of the city specialties. Uh, you know, I think unlike the other Sim cities where basically the city was its own kind of monolithic thing, you know, all by itself, you know, self-supporting, uh, I think the regional gameplay brings in this idea of specialized cities, which is uh, kind of more, much more realistic. You know, most of the large cities we have are in larger metropolitan regions, and they are specialized, and they're depending upon their neighbors, you know, for various services. And uh, I think that allows you, you know, to not necessarily have to build every last thing in every city that you make. Every time you play, you can kind of explore a different specialty. And each one, you know, uh, seems to have its own rules, its own kind of strategy to it, uh, embedded in the overall regional gameplay. I really got the sense that if I was to look at, you know, 100 cities that players had made, they would all seem very different. I would see, you know, totally different feeling cities depending on kind of which part of the specialization uh, path you took. So I think that's a pretty significant difference from all the previous versions of SimCity. All right, that was great. Well, thanks for taking the time to be out here today. I had oh, a great time chatting with you and come by the studio anytime. Uh, so we're talking with Will Wright today about his experiences playing SimCity. And it'll be out on the market on March 5th. So we hope you get a chance to play it when it comes out.